I'm sure that I'm not that person, such a geeky fashion person. Am I a geeky fashion person? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I do love fashion. Hello, fashion sellers. I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Hello. My channel's all about DIY fashion. On a Friday, I do my outfits of the week where I show you garments that I have refashioned, garments that I've also designed, patterned, drafted and sewn, including some high street pieces. So I mix them all together, style them, give advice. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, on a Wednesday, I actually show you how to refashion a garment. Put it out there, hoping to inspire and share the information so that you can go out and be motivated to do something similar. If you're interested in that sort of thing, it still is definitely worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Let's get on with the video. A refashion jacket. Last year, I made it last year, refashioned it last year. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like the colour more than anything else and the details. This used to be the bottom half of the sleeve where I've got this black band now. I think it looks so much better there, don't you? So I'm wearing it with pants. I did make these pants for slightly design. Let me show you. The pockets, if you can see, I've been a cap it on in it. And I'm wearing it with a black polo neck. That is, the sleeves are down there somewhere. <laughs> And yes, I decided to put it up on my with silver jewellery. I'm not sure what to make my mind up whether I should have the long pendant type earring or the one that's a bit shorter. Um, hmm. Now I think I'm going to go for the one that's a bit shorter. Did you, did you think? Yeah, I think so. Let's see that. Makes me happier. Yeah, I think, yeah. And I've got this silver necklace and also a bracelet. Um, and I'm wearing black ankle boots. So that's my outfit for today. I want to wear this collar and reveal it all because I think that's nice. No standing colour now, I just want a peep of my jewellery just coming through, just like that. And I like all the lines that are happening here as well, all the darts and shaping, it's really nice. So yes, and I'm going to team it with this handbag, which I'll just carry like that, with the strap hanging. My outfit today, so I think one of the column review is going to be it wants to do what it wants to do, so it's going to lie in that position. But I think this one will stand for today, which is which is okay with me. That's along the lines of being asymmetrical, so yeah, <laughs> I'm liking that. So they turn sideways, <gasps> that's nice, yeah, yeah, I think that's the way it will stay. I'll let you know tomorrow if it decides to play around and just decides to join the other one. See you tomorrow. I'm wearing that blouse again. So today, outfit, yeah, I'm going to have to wear a blazer, which wasn't part of the plan, because the weekend was amazing. Yesterday was a bit, mm. well, the summer's out. Today it's, <laughs> it's icy. So yes, spring is almost here. It is though, it is almost here. The tulips are almost here. Well, there are, there are a few that is opening up and down England. Anyway, enough about the weather. My outfit for today is this gorgeous blouse that I spotted, was it last week? Yeah, I think I spotted it last week. 
and it was in the process of being made for months and months and months because I was too lazy to complete it. It's got a skirt that goes with it as well. But today I'm teaming it with these jeans which are mid-rise boyfriend jeans. So yes, so I did this little bit of a crossover situation here. And I think, I think what's happening there is like, I need to bring out my crossover men's shirts. Um, I've got so many of them. I'll leave it to, um, the, I do have a tutorial in order to show you how I do that. I'll leave that in the description. I'll leave the link there so you can go along and check them because they will be sported this summer again because I just love them. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, these are open jeans. Uh, got a couple of rips in them and I'm wearing them with cut out ankle boots and yeah and that's it so I oh, just love this blouse I've got more fabric of this so I think I might end up making a crossover blouse just love these sleeves oh anyway um so I'm just wearing silver earrings and I've just got my hair in a messy 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 do messy messy twist out do. I was trying to make it a little bit more messier but I think I was making it a bit more, um, <laughs> I don't know, untidy rather than a fashionable messy look if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's see what I'm going to be teaming this with. So I am going to be carrying this bag and I picked up the silver in the bag with my earrings. I was going to go with dangling earrings but I think no, this is better for silver and the bag really goes well with this and my blazer which I am going to wear as a cape because I don't want I want these sleeves to be on show the jeans are actually sitting on my hips so they look as though they are too big but that's the intention of the jeans anyway oh yes I just love this colour. And that's me ready for today. I've been the camera down so you can see the rest of me. Keeping warm today. Oh, before I forget, I did say that I was going to tell you how the jacket, the blue jacket I wore on Monday with the lapels and wanted them to stand up. My mom was doing what he wanted to do, so I just let it. The other one, yeah. It soon followed, but it did stand, but it, 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 it stood away from me as well, but it was still upright. So when I wear it again, I'm going to make one or two adjustments and it's just a case of just putting some interfacing, some lightweight to medium weight interfacing around this area, maybe even the whole front of the jacket actually. Yeah, I had to give that some thought. So I thought I'd just let you know because I know I said I was going to mention it. But back to this is that I'm wearing a nice lilac, what's the colour term for 2022, very peri. That's what I'm be wearing all of this month. <laughs> I'm gonna get all my lilac pieces and, and purple pieces as well and see what outfits, ideas I can come up with. So I decided to wear this lilac jumper with some jeans. Now I do have a collection of jeans. I, t I try to get jeans that are a little bit unusual in style and shape and these definitely fit in that category. Um, and when I was younger, I never used to, I was never into jeans. It just didn't, it just didn't grab me. Even though when I went to college, yeah, I did have a couple of pairs, but that was it. And I'm not, also still not interested in um, making a pair of jeans myself as well, because I've been asked that question if I would um, show you how to make a pair of jeans, but it just doesn't do anything for me. So I like to buy jeans. I like to buy jeans that are very unusual shape. 
So with that said, I'm wearing it with neutral coloured shoes and how I'm going to dress it up as far as jewellery is concerned is that I've got my silver dangly earrings and then I am going to put this purple necklace on just to give the outfit a little bit of a pop. Oh, I'm strangling myself here. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. That's okay. Yeah, I like that. Just gives it a bit of pop. Makes it a little bit more exciting, if you like. Okay, and then I'm going to be wearing some purple gloves. Let's see how that looks. These can also be neutral as well, you don't have to be following with a kind of same colour palette as the lilac, but I just like that, yeah, different tones of purples if you like. Yeah, good, that looks good. And then I'm going to finish off with even a lilac handbag one of my recent purchases from the chapter shop. How cute is that? <laughs> um, and I saw it, it's like, oh yeah, it's really cute. And it's new as well. I thought, because it's 2022 and the color for spring, summer is very peri, in brackets, lilac color, lavender color. So I thought, yeah, why not? <laughs> not that I need to add any more bags to my collection, um, but yes. So yeah, I'm bringing you down so you can see the rest of me. I'm all about inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas for upcycled fashion. If you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform where there are three different levels. Check the description and I hope to see you there. Let's get back to the video. You know, you know I had to wear it this week. <laughs> and it will get worn, worn a couple of times more during the month as well. But I did manage to get some lilac in there. Okay, so there's no introduction to this jacket because I'm sure you are aware of what I think of this jacket. And it is an amazing refashioning project. And I'm standing it with the pants that are from the CGL collection. And yeah, there's nothing to say. I think this segment's going to be very short. <laughs> Um, I haven't as yet replaced the snap here which I said I was going to do because I don't have any more invisible snaps and that, and that is actually what they are called. I mean this one is causing no problems, no issues but I might just change them out and just put metal ones. I think I prefer metal snaps. Yeah. So yeah. So excited about this jacket still. I will be for a long time. So I'm going to be pairing it with some purple gloves and that, there is actually purple in here if you look on that if you look very carefully if you can see beyond the colour that it actually is you can see other colours I think I'm not I'm sure I am not the only person who is that geeky am I I am sure <laughs> I'm sure that I'm not that person such a geeky fashion person am I a geeky fashion person I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I do love fashion. And I've gone with a brown bracelet. I do like that as well, yeah. But yeah, it's nice. That looks nice with the, and the pants. I'll bring it down in there so you can see. So, and then I'm going to finish up. I've got two choices actually of a handbag. There's one I'm definitely going to go with, but I'll just explain the reason why. <laughs> and this, and the reason why I'm not going to be using this bag 
even though it fits in with the core theme that I'm going to go through this month. Um, it's, it's a lilac, but it's a very bright lilac. It's, there's lots of white that's in there. You see, and the purple. I mean, those two go amazingly together. They're gorgeous. But against this, you know, it's just, it's just too white. There's too much white tones in that. So I won't be carrying this. So I'm going to go for the brown black brown bag that I wore with it last time. I was thinking about doing it crossbody but no I'm, I'm just just don't want it to be with this at the moment. <laughs> um but there is you know let me know in the comments if you can see tones of purple and lilac and very peri which is <laughs> the 22 colour trend within that bag. It's in there. It really is. Um but I do have lilac shoes on though. But it's not the same colour lilac as the bag, which is, is it, it is what it is, isn't it? Let me just bring you down so I can show you. I'll, I'll put a, a picture in so that you can actually see. And there is actual <laughs> purple and lilac tones that are in pants as well. But they, they, these colour shoes do suit the pants really well. Yeah, they really do. So I've got purple, lilac, browns, and they are all matching each other comfortably. Yeah. So that's my outfit for today. It's Friday. Um. Yes, I'm brown wearing a top and I love it. It feels comfortable, it's gorgeous. I'll give you a little twirl. I just love it, it doesn't work out. This was a pair of curtains. It's turned out really well. You can see I've got one. Look, that's all I need to do is just pop it up. Do the same on that side. Like that. Could, could, I think you can even go. Yeah, there you go. You can have some fun with this top. <laughs> you really can. I just love it. It's, it's just. I love the, the detail at the bottom. I'm wearing it with skinny jeans. Do not get rid of your skinny jeans. Whatever colour they are, don't get rid of them. Don't. You know, they, they, they will come back into fashion. If you are a person that follows fashion trends and you're tempted to give them away, my advice is don't. They'll come back into fashion, maybe three or four seasons, but they will. Especially if you like them, why why get rid? Yeah? Anyway, not for me <laughs> telling you what you need to do. Um, so yeah, this gorgeous top. This side detail. I mean, it has worked out well. Oh, and, and I just the the I should go back in and do some hand sewing because it was a bit one side was a bit higher than the other. But I sorted it out. That's what happens when you hand sew for the TV. Anyway, but well, no, it's cute. Right, any issues? No. Even when I sit down, because I was thinking when I sit down that this, I might sit on this and, and squash all the pleats in there, but it kind of sits away, so no, but she's there. Um, it's just gorgeous, it's just, it's just gorgeous. I was thinking, right, I need your help with this one, um, is that, you know, there was quite a lot, for those of you who don't know, there was quite a lot of fabric that was left over, and I was thinking about it becoming a scarf. Let me show you. So I've just sewed both ends together and I was thinking of making it into a scarf. What do you think? No, I don't like it. I don't think it's overpowering or anything. 
let me know what you think or whether you, whether you think I should save this for another project. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Anyway, I am wearing it with some white earrings. <laughs> having some fun with this outfit, seriously having some fun. Um, and then matching my foot, it's matching my footwork basically, which are white shoes. And the bag that I'm gonna go for is this red bag with the white trim that's going through it. So yes. And how I tie it. Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed my outfits of the week. Um, if you do, please put them in the comments. And if you want me to continue doing my outfits of the week, showing you how I style them, hopefully giving you um, some tips and advice and sharing information about how you can wear your refashion makes, either with garments that you've either um, sewn yourself or you know, high street pieces, ready to wear pieces. Um, yeah, so if you are wanting to share that with me, then put that in the comments below. Please do give this video a thumbs up and below the like button, which is a thumb, is the subscribe button. If you click that, that will be amazing. It will really help my channel to grow. Don't forget to save this and share it with your friends. Let's see if there's anything else. No, I don't think there is. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.